You can't keep me from Perry. You're acting like I chose to get infected so I couldn't have the procedure. No, of course not. But you did choose not to tell us, to lie by omission. Well, I didn't want to let you down. Fine. Time isn't on our side, so you need to stay here and stay safe. We can't afford any more setbacks. What, so seeing my girlfriend is a setback now? Nurse Perry not only neglected to inform us that the transplant hadn't taken place, but she also won't be there for you when you need her. She's far too busy to keep tabs on you. She's proven herself to be untrustworthy and unreliable. You know, I've got a good mind to write to the hospital trust. Hang on. So I can't leave the house, but you can go to the office and mingle and bring back all those gems? Touché. From now on, I'll work more from home. Are you all right? No. Uh, no, all this bickering has taken it out of me. How do you see why you need to rest so you can get better? Yeah. Please, could you get my TV? I don't have the energy to crawl back into bed. I'll just not be here. Coming right up. Can I have a pillow as well? No, you shouldn't be here. And I love you too. Look, I'm I'm exhausted. I've just I've just worked a double shift. I can't look after you. Well then let's go to bed and I'll lie next to you. But then I won't get any sleep. I'll just be up, worrying that as soon as I drift off, you'll sneak out and catch another bug. I just want to be near you. Please go home. Go home so you can rest and get better. I'm not gonna argue with you on this. I don't want to be on my own. You're not on your own. You've got your mom and James. I really think it's best if you leave. Jules, please don't make this harder than it already is. I think I was expecting a telling off. Yeah, well, I've added it to your slate. It can wait. Doesn't anyone understand that all I want to do is spend time with my girlfriend? Yes, of course we understand that, but she did the right thing and sent you home, where we can look after you. Which means no more trips to the gym, OK? You don't need to be around all that sweat and hot breath, and I'll even shower before I come home. Oh, great, so no more sex work either, I assume. Hey, that's enough. Your mother relapsed and she's not proud of it. We're just doing our best to keep you safe. From Perry? All three of us just want you to get better. So if that means just having a bit of time away from Pez, isn't it worth it? No! It is not worth it! What is the point in any of this if I can't be with Perry? We just need you to be a grown-up about it. Well, then stop treating me like a baby! Look, love, we are so stressed out about you. We all can. It's difficult for us all. I was this close to using again. Then how are you any better at looking after me than Perry? You both have to work as well, not to mention planning your wedding. Yeah, but you are our priority. But Perry is mine. And honestly, if I can't be with her, then what am I even living for? I was literally just drifting off. Oh, sorry, love. We didn't mean to wake you. It's fine. Just make it quick, will you? Yeah, at least we can do. No, the least I can do is apologise. We're all under a huge amount of strain with Juliet's illness, but I, I shouldn't have taken it out on you, and I'm sorry, truly. It's fine. You've obviously been integral to Juliet's treatment so far, and we think you should remain so. And if being with you makes her feel better, then it'd be cruel for us to keep you apart, love. Look, we've spoken to Juliet, and in return for spending time together at our house, she has agreed to take more responsibility for her own well-being. And we're all desperate for her to get better. And with Juliet herself on board, maybe we can make some progress. So, what do you say? You in? Yeah. 
<gasps> we have someone to see you. Under strict guidelines, of course. Hey. Perry! <laughs> right, who's up for a green immunity booster smoothie? Oh, me, please. Are you mm -hmm. sure about that? Good to see you smiling. Uh, I'm sorry we kept you apart. We thought it was for the best, but obviously not. Oh, one second. Hey, look, we meant what we said, Pez. You know, we'll do whatever it takes to get her better. She's always going to be her own worst enemy, but if we all look out for her, I think she'll be okay. How's Rubio? They're doing a big bank holiday party at his. He said there's going to be a DJ set and food and vodka loose. It sounds great. You're not thinking of going, are you? Of course not. I'd give up everything for us to be together.